Mr. Balachandan Nirbaraj. He's the Assistant Director of the National Aquaculture Development Authority of Northern Province. And as many as uh, I think many of you know, they're actually trying to promote a lot of ventures. And it'll be interesting to hear how they approach uh, this big uh, growth, which is, uh, you know, they're trying to uh, prepare for and how you know, on the positive side, it will help with employment and livelihood development, and also how we manage to make sure that it doesn't affect the uh, environmental uh, resources that are so rich in the Northern province. Thank you, Mr. Nirbaraj. Can you please uh, share your screen with us and your slides? Thank you. So I think I should just briefly also uh, say a little bit uh, about uh, him because he has worked for quite a few years in the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources and has a lot of experience in this area. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you. Banakam, uh, uh, good evening. So this is Neil Braj, uh, from uh, uh, National Aquaculture Development Authority. I am the uh, responsible officer uh, for the Northern Provincial Coastal Aquaculture Development. It's been uh, recently established, uh, uh, I mean, uh, development proxy uh, under the uh, uh, Aquaculture Development Authority. Uh, Aquaculture Development Authority has been working uh, since 1998, uh, but mostly uh, its, uh, I mean, uh, intention was there in the freshwater system earlier, but I think after uh, 2000, uh, nine onwards, uh, it has been working uh, uh, intensively in the coastal system because, as you all are aware, the Sri Lankan uh, territory is I mean, limited. So, uh, with the uh, inland aquaculture only, we cannot produce at least our uh, minimum consumption uh, uh, requirements. So, then, uh, 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 I mean, Gold's Grace, uh, Northern Province, it has, uh, uh, I mean, uh, huge potential for the coastal aquaculture. So last 2017 onwards only, the coastal aquaculture unit has been uh, functional in the Northern province. So it has been promoting uh, uh, multiple ventures. Uh, since it's been a new establishment, uh, it's a good opportunity to uh, Northern province uh, to establish everything very carefully because in terms of aquaculture, mostly uh, people uh, have uh, suspicions over the uh, environmental impact which were experienced by several countries as well as Sri Lanka and Northeastern province also because of uh, a non-planned development at the early stage. But in the Northern province we are doing everything in line and uh, master planning, carrying capacity and everything with the collaboration of uh, NARA and the other institutions as well as we are uh, uh, discussing with the Jaffna University also in several locations. So this is the resources what we have identified already. Uh, I mean, Northern Province it has four coastal districts. Uh, it has lengthiest coast, coastal stretch in Sri Lanka. Out of 1,800 kilometers, we have 520 kilometers. And more than 10,000 acres of, uh, no, sorry, 100,000 acres of lagoons. And 250,000 hectares of mangroves, several salt basses and uh, 45,500, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 455,000 uh, hectares of coastal stretch. That's mean, uh, according to coastal conservation department's uh, uh, regulation, we measured this. Uh, so recently aquaculture has been named uh, to promote uh, poverty, uh, poverty alleviation, I mean, to stop the poverty, jobs, foods, and national economy, foreign exchange, and uh, as already uh, professor mentioned already our fisheries resources are uh, showing a declining trend so it's been proposed as a alternative uh, uh, measure to keep up our fish production uh, and uh, uh, resource protection also because uh, the sri lanka still it has a huge fossil uh, resources we are still importing fish as as well as dry fish also so the government, several time, government has taken measures to stop the importation, but it's not been uh, uh, that much successful. But still, uh, there are uh, measures, uh, there are announcements, there are some bans also announced by the government, but uh, practically uh, every time it seems impossible. So the Northern Economical Index, 
because it's really a sad story of the northern province nobody really take into account just i want to show this so this is the uh, statistical information i have taken from 2019 central bank report so i have boxed the uh, 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 i mean unemployment rate of northern three districts jaffna 10.7 molettiv 4.8 kilnachi 6.1 just you can compare with the other 25 districts where we are and the similarly uh, poor households also you can see jaffna 6 and molettiv 11 kilnachi 15 so we are topping both ends so this is really a uh, uh, i mean a, a problematic issue that should be addressed by somewhere some kind of approaches so now we have proposed several proposals to the ministry as well as the local authorities also so aquaculture can cater number of jobs from red collar white uh, collar to layman Uh, range so already we have sent the proposals up to 6000 employment uh, by 2023 and 11000 employment by 2020 uh, no 2030 so the northern province itself we are planning to improve uh, employability by 6000 uh, through the projects but i will uh, present later so this is the another information the northern province the contribution to the gdp we are in the ninth so the two graphs you can clearly see it's also central bank report september 25 2019 it was released so this is the latest report so the northern province contribution uh, 4.1% out of this 4.1% i think more than 54% service sector contribution service sector mean the government sectors as well as other service sectors industrial sector i think less than uh, 12% and the agriculture also similarly so this is the status of northern aquaculture ventures so we are working with uh, uh, total uh, seven species uh, but some of the species we are recently commenced uh, the stra- infrastructures uh, we have in this conditions most of the infrastructures i mean the hatcheries and nurseries we have to depend on still we are depending on the other parts as it is a new venture for the northern province but in the sense farming operations uh, uh, we are good in some farming operation as well as uh, the northern province it has uh, uh, pretty much improved sophisticated shrimp farms uh, so it has been uh, already declared by several uh, uh, monitoring institutions that north has a very uh, good uh, farming protocols like so uh, uh, the shrimp uh, oh, we are producing since 2018 so 2019 we contributed 900 metric ton for the export uh, through the exotic species called uh, letopinius venami so there were some questions about the introduction of uh, uh, venami but it has been lately understood by uh, the biodiversity uh secretariat and uh, the environmentalist uh, then uh, the northern province been set a target uh, uh, 20000 metric ton by 2025 so we are working on that so you can see the slides next and the sea cucumber it's one of the prime uh, target species in the northern province that it has the northern province only has the potential for the farming only three districts manar kilnochi and jaffna so except manar kilnachi and jaffna has huge potential for the sea cucumber farm it's a environmental friendly animal and it is correlated with the other fish species uh, in the marine ecosystem also and the seaweed seaweed also the uh, earlier we had uh, some issues with the seaweed productions now there are several uh, uh, sri lankan uh, based companies are interested in the cultivation but still there are some gaps in the value addition value added product so this covid period had given a lot of lessons to us rather than depending on the export oriented market only we have to think about the local markets also so still government is uh, i mean uh, willing to accept value added uh, product ma- i mean uh, uh, factories or the investment in sri lanka so if anybody interested in that case they can immediately forward their concept notes to the ministry and the finfish finfish species there are already several species uh, uh, we are doing uh meantime we have succeeded with the uh, sea bass breeding so sea bass farms are getting momentum in the northern province it has very good it export market also uh, so several uh, investors from australia also now in, in i mean they're interested in the sea bass farming and the new technologies earlier we had a issue with the sea bass uh, feed but now it's been solved by a new feed formula and the pricing also so uh, for these above mentioned targets uh, uh, national agriculture development for authority in the correlations with the other institutions we asked we studied some locations in the northern province but studies is ongoing also uh, map some locations so those maps are here 
for the Seikigma projects, uh, Kilnochi, Japna, and uh, already Kilnochi maps are completed. There are three locations we already mapped and 200 uh, farm plots been uh, located. So uh, if uh, uh, an uh, investor comes and uh, uh, willing to invest in these ventures, uh, the all, already these local uh, arrangements are uh, uh, prepared. So they can forward the applications and do the necessary things. As well as some of the projects also identified and it's been documented. Now these land leasing process in the cabinet. So three, I mean Sri Lanka has a pretty much uh, complicated uh, land releasing process. So uh, it's in the process already. So this is a place called uh, Paladeva, uh, sorry Elvadeva. This is in the top of Jaffna. It is ideal for the mentioned uh, species in the uh, right side of the slide. Similarly, this is a, uh, a part of uh, Punahari. This is under the Kilnachi district. So this is also been identified and studied by the NARA and NAGDA technical team for the feasibilities of species called uh, Banami farm. So in this site, if we develop this site, we can cater 200 families for the employment and the production also we can go for a huge uh, money turnover. This is an island called Iranadivu. Recently this island been allowed to settle back by the people who were evicted during the war. So now this uh, uh, Iranadiva Island being mapped for a sea cucumber farming with a public-private partnership project. So the two parties, I mean public mean the uh, residents of Iranadiva as well as a private party, uh, they are exporting sea cucumber from Sri Lanka. So th those two parties are now in an agreement to develop these farms. Government already had, I mean, uh, designed the farms and had, uh, identified the locations and mapped. So those ma with, the, with, the, with those map, they will get the land rights through the land releasing process according to 1996 Fisheries Act. So this is another land called Narivilikulam in Manar. This is a bare land bordering between uh, Indian Ocean. So this has also been selected and studied for the mentioned aquaculture practices including shrimp fish and other species because these all maps are finalized with the multiple species approach because uh, uh, earlier if we are introducing shrimp that project only for the shrimp but here we are introducing several species I mean each and every are beneficial to others in the sense uh, uh, the fecal matters of one species can be utilized by the others for the uh, feed like filter feeders like oysters and the other species so similarly Paladeva this is also island uh, close to uh, uh, Kilnachi territory this is being identified for the sea, sea, sea cucumber farm this is the uh, isolated lighter no human settlements are there. This is uh, Ampan Kudatene. This is Badamrachi uh, 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 East. I mean Japna's <coughs> Japna part. This has also been identified and uh, that studied uh, for the uh, shrimp fish uh, intensive projects. This is uh, Arghuveli. Arghuveli means uh, the southern part of Japna under the it comes under the Chavagicheri Division of Secretariat. Uh, it's been already identified. The first uh, file has been uh, handed over to the land commissioner. So if anybody interested for this kind of uh, I mean, project on this land, especially for fish culture and uh, closed system shrimp farms, uh, can be allowed. So this is the Iranadeva cluster I mentioned earlier. So this is the map already been uh, done. The, uh, the middle part, there are two bigger plots in the middle, those being going to be given for the nurseries of a hatchery bred juvenile. So the facilities which have Sri Lanka now grooming, the Japna airport if it is functional but during this COVID it's been closed, if it is functional all our, all our products can be transported to an international destination within a short period. Now it takes more than 10 hours from harvest to the uh, uh, air flight to Colombo. So if this uh, uh, airport is functional so within 2-3 hours it can be transported to an international uh, market. So similarly the KK Scarber, Coin Petro Carver, uh, this project already been proposed and then it has been hold due to some reasons. I think again the uh, uh, coming weeks uh, ministry is going to place a cabinet paper to recommence the project uh, with the ADB's concessionary loan about 195 uh, million dollars. And the harbour is also shipping harbour, special harbour under the same project what I mentioned earlier. Uh, ADB promised to de develop and the Point Metro harbour and again KK's harbour I think India already signed an agreement and they are pushing forward to get, out, uh, get done the works as soon as possible and meantime there's another project in the Delphi Island also uh, they propose to uh, have a sophisticated harbour project. So 
so this is the project but uh, i mentioned earlier the nagda and nara had done a study uh, to map uh, the feasible locations for several species it can be uh, shared to anybody if any uh, if they are really interested to aquaculture so every perspective it has been studied environment perspective and traditional fisheries and uh, sensitive areas especially a breeding ground or nursing ground those studies ongoing uh, the uh, similar uh, locations i mean the mentioned locations will be studied in depth by the team of nagdanara again when it has been requested by a uh, investor before uh, it's been uh, given then uh, early as i men earlier mentioned lands are developed i mean the nagda proposing to develop a industrial park uh, concept uh, like uh, already the free rate zones and um, boi zones similarly now sri lanka is proposing to develop aquaculture industrial zone with all inclusive feed factories restaurants and uh, um, uh, different uh, monitoring bodies and laboratories and everything so it's it's a kind of a package it's uh, the investors can enjoy with the all inclusives so this is the zones what we have done uh, uh, for the aquaculture industrial parks and the right hand corner you can see the conceptual plan uh, which which is going to cater public investors in all the different species approach the projects in the priority list